Hi, I'm Mega Visitor 46, and today I will be doing the behind the scenes. I'm not gonna do the full episode of it. I'm just gonna show you the uh, clips of this episode of Kids According to Home Tolling, the contest and conditions. Where of course, when Tolling presents the contest, he selects the two winning contestants, who are, of course none other than the brothers of Camilla. Which one of them was mentioned on Bowser's Koopalings. And one is a lawyer, and the other who is the eldest, and claimed to be an heir apparent of the McQueen household. So, I will take you through the seats, one by one. And this seat, which is one of the painful... Process that I've ever done it, I had to copy and paste every background character. Well, except for Kawabunga, who works with Freeze Flame 22, and who is best known for his cameos on Carl and Bouncer's Koopa Links. And also had Kawasaki, even though that's not the same art style of Freeze, but, you know. And I just want to make a fourth wall joke. With, there, you know. Even a mentioning. Kawa to the uh, series, or also bringing him to the series, as I like to call. And in this scene, where I of course make Joey talk to the Kremlin, where he said, "Oi, are you a lawyer too?" Where of course Joey is confirmed to be a lawyer, as confirmed by Camilla from the episode's "Truth or Consequences." Which is the penultimate before the season finale of season six of Bowser's Koopaloo. Which I was gonna be trying to upload before his does, so I wasn't be able to finish that. And yes, I do also want to mention the K Roll also, because everyone misses K Roll, even myself included. Everyone hated a Bismol, you know? The new uh, bass shop owner. Wow. But in this one, say, of course, I have to like people. make sure I have to oh act. God. You know, that's if that my act is not good, I need to improve on it. Um, no, with voice oh acting. I feel like a M and M right now for the Egg Mile movie. And he I gets nervous. Grow up. Hey, Colin. And the reason I called the uh, manager hey, Slappy is because you know. He goes by Slappy Logan, you know, like Happy Hogan from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Played by John Favreau, but as the season progress, his big role would be important. But you know, and in this contest scene, of course, I had to edit in the voices. You know, really painful, but. Worth it though. We're be being introduced. And yes, the Koopa Nation, which is reference to Fox Nation. We're, of course, you know, with streaming content outside of Fox News. Hey guys! My name is And yes, the music I use for that is from Diamond and Pearl, Jubilee TV, because I was just want to make it more lively with the contest. Remember, I Lots and everything would be adventure. normal Fear you, but for Tom, even though he does speak for himself. And I will draw your names. And that means, and I get you guys want to show get you guys well, want to show how I located located it over here. For so, the upcoming series. Well, actually, that design was came from Bassingly at the beta design of Sigmund Phoenix that I made for Slappy Logan. But before we get started, I just want to set my condolences to... I just, you know, want to make something like a spin-off to make the McQueens more like the protagonists of the series rather than the antagonists. As I'm trying to get them a uh, rival family, which four of the five would be the main antagonist. Even though one of the antagonists would do nothing to help out his own siblings. Let's get this started. Although, I did want to... This is the hardest thing for me to do, however. Is begging a ticket, and of course, you know, a raffle drawing, where he draws up Joseph McQueen's name. Oh, and back to the contest. Yeah, paying one full process one I had to do was the ticket drawing at Sprites. You know, not gonna lie. 
This is not the easiest thing to do, so. But I did like the uh, progress that I made, if I'm honest. But, I mean, if you all don't like it that I, I get it. I totally get your opinion. I respect it. I'm not going to attack y'all. I'm just saying that your honesty matters. No matter if you're criticizing it or praising it, it's... If I learned something from Gordon Ramsay for Kitchen Nightmares in the Amy Spanky Company episode, well, the final season premiere, that criticism is healthy. And... Who is the next one? But yes, I just want to make Joseph sound too Avengers. adorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Join but he says, Can I have the next one, please? My brother, Nicholas McQueen. And of course, right. and that's how it is. And this, sorry there. if I go off topic a bit, but you know. And congrats you two. But this is the you behind the scenes, so, you know. With me. If y'all don't and want me to shoot the breeze, time. that's fine, but, you know, but I'm not afraid to shoot the breeze. If it goes well, Other than that, I, I did have to screenshot the locations. Contest. It chose Block Plaza as one of the best locations to do a contest presentation. And thus, we're going to the next scene. And in this scene, where of course Tom's being introduced to the crew after being placed in New Mount Plus instead of Cuba Nation with the recruits, which is part of their plan to get them to trust him. And of course, we got the cameraman, which is the purple Koopa, and the uh, African Koopa. The black Koopa, where of course, you know, be mistaken for Canateen Boy, which he is actually the boom operator. And of course, you know, thinking that was some kind of sick joke he made, but next the one that says, No, the one behind you. Where of course, it is the Canateen Boy, it's the blue one. And Nick pointed out that the one at Great Jail is the boom operator. And then. And then after Boob Operator walked out, he's like, I know how to work that shit, homie. Yeah. And this right here is our Kennedy boy. And although the, uh... Oi, we already want The chef bro that's Bubba. different from the other chef bros at Bowser's Castle I is I want to make the one and for the Redwood Kingdom. Bro. Wait. And although he's the one that got They're fired from Bowser, he's the chef bro I just want to make direct reference from Truth or Consequences with Travis. After Camilla is the one who revealed the uh, the dirt on Travis by revealing his true identity, being Trent and Koopa. And yeah, he went by Travis Hawk under the radar. But yes, and we but have yes I also want to make the production and vans where, of course, the, the McQueens and Tolan will be driving in. Production vans. Which, of course, face? represent their faces, red only. not their because shell colors. Face and shell colors? Or, that's just our face colors, not our shells. And we see him, of course, with the red one. That's what they'll be they in for the Desert Hills Marvel. episode. Blue but the blue one, however, will be the ones with the McQueens will be watching in inside Desert Hills. But there will be more coming soon, as I'm trying to get the script ready for Desert Hills. But yeah, although I didn't have time to edit the voice, but I managed to get the hang of it. So... Oh yeah, I forgot the I apologize if I forgot to put the subtitle up there. In the correct position. But in this one, of course I would just want to make Tolan and Nick having a rivalry with one another. Even if they are the protagonists of the series. Well the three of them are. Yes, Tolan and the McQueens. But of course they would be at each other's throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And of course, this will be a bad case scenario of reputation of the series and also 
What were the reputation of Silver McQueen, who's in charge of New Mount Limited? It, of course, I just want to make, like, everything. And yes, it, uh, apologies for the swearing, but I just want to make it slightly more mature. And this is the one where Joey began to snap. And yes, I like to say, if you, I apologize if you heard some swearing on there, which has been censored. But I just want to make it slightly mature. You don't got to be censored for it. And yeah. And that's is how I wanted their rivalry to start. But yes. And that's what I want to do. It's big concept of the unlikely trio. Of Tolan having to deal with the McQueens. But as the series progress, it would be in a worst case scenario. Or for a better scenario. Which of course, I do not want to make them the the two McQueens to the antagonist. And also just want them to let them know that he would... They would be different from the other McQueen family, like Haley, Miles, Sean, Camilla, and Byron. Oh, and yes, so on this scene, I just want to pay tribute to Steve Wright, which of course, Freeze Flame, who is actually a British guy, you know, mentioned Steve Wright on the episode of Donkey Kong Island, The Office Party, where of course, when they mentioned Harold K. Rule, and Lanky was saying when he's about to toot in to Radio 2 just to get an opportunity to call Steve Wright an asshole. Which Freeze clarified that, that Steve Wright is not an asshole, and he's a genuine kind of DJ. Well, you know. Well, actually, not. Well, he's the most popular DJ in the UK, and I agree with him. But, and yes, and I did listen to Steve Wright personally, and, and he was, like, really kind as DJ. And I was very devastated when he passed away on the age of 70. Oh, sorry, 69. Just a day after the 11th, February 11th episode of Sunday Love Songs. And then, the next episode, the same day as the Daytona 500, which is the saddest moment. Where they, it's a tribute episode. And I just want to pay tribute to the man myself by making a Koopa version of him. And, a, and also BBC Radio 2, you know, but yeah. Even though I do miss Steve Wright, I think Michael Ball is doing a good job. Cover for Steve Wright. And, you know. And he loved to go two hours after him. And at June, Michael Ball became the new host of Sunday Love Songs. But, yeah. But, yeah. You know, you gotta catch the last dance. Which is, of course... Always Steve Wright's bit on his Sunday Love Songs program. But if Michael Ball is that it's not our show, it's not my show, it's our show. And yeah, I did want to bring up, you know, the mention of his ex-wife passing away. And yes, and both of them were survived by their two children. You know? But I'm an American listener, but... I enjoy a little bit of Steve Wright on BBC Radio 2, personally. So... But I shame I never got to go to England. A chance to go to England, where I could cross all my bucket list to meet DJs outside of the UK, but... And I would, would have loved to meet him, you know, in person. Just like Stan Lee, I would not would have loved to meet Stan Lee, but, you know, he died too, so... Alright, on to the next thing. Now, this one right here is one of my favorite scenes to do. Of course, with Nick and Joey having a conversation after winning the contest. But they just came up with their own plan with three faces before the reveal. With the second face is, of course, Outbid Kuba Nation 
and give it to Newmount Plus, which was owned by their mother, even though they don't trust their own family members. But, but there will be more as the series progress. They get a more clear picture. But, you know, only when the time is right. So, I just don't want to rush it. Don't want to peak it too early. But, and again, I do want to make them the protagonists of the series. And, of course, you know, we have a little bit of Marvel reference. And, yes, and I also added the, uh, for Burning Coliseum, the music with Pyrite Town, which is, of course, the catchiest okay. tune to snap your fingers slug. It's like you're in a alley scene at Tom and Jerry before the song What Do We Care? The Tom and Jerry movie, yeah. But although I just want to make Tolan to start off small, like at Koopa Kingdom, because I'm not trying to make a mimicry of uh, Freeze Flame Lore, you know, where I'm like the Deadpool of the Freeze Flame Lore, like he is in the MCU, but I did watch Deadpool and Wolverines, but I don't want to get into that detail just yet. But where he, Nick is like the goddamn Redwood Kingdom, where of course he is like very angry. Because there is a family as a thorn in their side. But there will be more when the detail progress. But on this one, and of course where NBC got the rights for 2015 to, I don't know if they extended or not, but NASCAR is returning to TNT Sports and just signed on with Prime, which I thought is a load of bullshit because Prime is very expensive to get. But in this one, of course, well, skipping with the uh, bidding, because I don't want to make it too long. But they, but he lost the rights to Cuba Nation, and now it's going to be going to New Mount Plus, Kansas City Corner, Hey, why are you laughing? But in this one, of course, if Phase Three the plan, that's the big reveal. And yes, I do also want to make the joke of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which was my favorite, Phase 1 and 3, but I will continue on only if Deadpool and or Wolverine's in it. And then this one is, of course, it got the idea with the Driftville Bridge music. And of course, it's where Tallinn's nightmare come true of Nick and Joey being the uh, being the center, not the center of attention, but being part of the McQueen family tree. And of course, this is Tallinn's nightmare where he had to go travel with them, and he fainted. But I also want to make a van, you know, because I can't find the sound effects to the, uh... So I had to sample off of a Freeze Flame video with the vehicle sound. Right. Let's go on a venture, brother. And then, of course, you know, drive off. And now we are going to my editorial on my honest opinion of the episode. Now, on this episode of Keys According to Hauntalan, which is the first episode, I didn't do too bad, but I didn't do too great either, because the struggulation of the voice, my personal narcolepsy, where of course, you know, caused me to go to sleep, and I couldn't keep up the track of time with, of course, you know, with uh, someone in my life, and of course, you know, everything going on personally and around my job. But someday it will go to fruition because I really, you know, like doing this for the Freeze Flame fans who 
just don't want to wait for a new Freeze Flame video to come. But, yeah, even if I did fail the audition of the Freeze Flame video, or get into Freeze Flame cast, but it gave me a lot of hope that I would continue doing what I love. And that is to make videos. It's because I am not here to try to steal the fans from Freeze. I just want to give them a little extra in case that they don't want to wait for a new Freeze Flame video. You know, and also just want to make a, an attempt of a spin off series to the Bowser's Koopalings, which, of course, you know. One of the characters be Camilla McQueen. And, you know, I just want to make my own McQueen's, of course, yeah. Well, even though credit to Oates for him making the, uh, the sprites of the McQueen's. Even though I did want to make a spinoff series revolving around the two who were mentioned on the show. Well, Joey's the one revealed on the Episode 611 of Bowser's Koopa Leaks. Not, uh, you know, not Nick, though. But Nick was mentioned on the zombie being one of the five brothers. Even though, not by name, though. And, I just want to say that that I have been Damn proud of being you know, a YouTuber for almost 15 years. And even if I just like fall in a spiral and of course, you know, let overconfidence get the best of me. But this is why I never want to quit because even with the death of my parents, however. My mom from 10 years ago from cancer, and my dad from years ago from around 2021 from COVID and all. But this is why I'm here to satisfy everyone. Of course, you know, trying to rebuild myself and of course shake off the rust that it, the few years have put me in after not being active for the internet for years. But you are all the ones that gave me hope. And Freeze himself, who's been on YouTube for 11 years, he is the reason why I'm trying to build back into myself with hope and dignity. And of course, I just want to make a series with them, with everyone involved, and also who are the Freeze Flame fans, and again, I'm doing this if they are tired of waiting for a new Freeze, but I am not here to steal his fan base, because, you know, even I've been around for 15 years, but Freeze is the one who made this possible, and he is uh, a great man, really great man. And, you know, without everyone, you know, supporting him, then it would not happen if it wasn't for Bowser's Koopalings, and Carl, and Wars of Frozen Flames. And Donkey Kong Island. And you know. Everybody. And I thank you for. For keeping me. Checking on me. And of course. Subscribing. To me. And even though this show is worth a subscription. Even if you're a Freeze Flame fan, just remember, 
he is the one that that made your entertainment very great. And he is the one that set this universe. Even though I just want to make a spin-off that do want to connect to this universe. I don't want to say I deserve to be in it because I want to earn it. You know, with this series, it's, it, it just wanted to be earned. Thank you.